Welcome to today's video and I am back with my dear friend, Dr. Fred Aguilar, board certified plastic surgeon and all around nice guy and dear friend of mine, who as you have seen, takes care of my Botox on my forehead and my eyes. And what we wanna talk about today are the different areas that can receive Botox, many of which are very surprising to women. I think most women think it's strictly for the forehead and the eyes, but we have discovered other uses for it that have really helped me in different ways. And today I wanna to talk about the neck area and what it can do there. Absolutely, it's everybody as we age starts to develop a dropping of these muscles in the middle of the neck. Mm -hmm. And we have found that putting Botox in two little spots or three little spots just around the curvature flatten that muscle and makes those hanging edges disappear and giving you a more youthful neck. Those are the neck bands and women women always say, I get so many funny messages, what do I do about my chicken neck? Exactly. And so it, I guess that's a part of it, these bands that protrude and when you turn to the side you see it right. a little bit yes, more. Yes, yes. And you can you can see them on you very mm -hmm. well but it's it's not because uh, it's, it's a bad problem, it's just that you're in such great shape and you don't have a lot of neck fat or anything yeah. which is great so it allows those to be seen mm -hmm. people with with more fat in their neck they don't hide see a little them. bit better so, but again you you're in great shape and so you do see a little bit more of, of the edges of the muscle and that's why Botox there is so effective so it just works well it does it's amazing now it, it takes care of those bands but it doesn't take care of of these bigger guys down no, here. No, and, and this is the sternocleidomastoid muscle on mm -hmm. each edge, and it's a very broad neck muscle. And, yeah. and actually, I think the look of creating the hollow in the neck is, is a very aesthetic look. So I think people. See, would be great. what we sometimes see as a deficiency, they see as awesome. Yes. So there you go, it's a perspective change. Exactly. But, but the little bands can go, and so we will demonstrate. And, and are there any risks um, or side effects of something like this? Well, and not if the injections are done correctly, mm -hmm. which is superficially into the edge and not staking a needle into a deeper part of the neck that might paralyze a nerve. Right. Well, we, that's why you go to someone that knows what they're doing, and that's important. Usually, a board certified plastic surgeon, mm -hmm. facial plastic surgeon, or dermatologist. And that's why I'm here. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Okay. My, my neck is ready for you. My, I'm ready to do the neck All today. right, so tell me how these, and where. These are the bands that we talked about earlier, mm -hmm. and that is actually the edge of a platysma muscle is what it's called. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put three little injections just on the curvature of that muscle and that will allow it to flatten out against the neck and eliminate the prominence mm -hmm. of that muscle edge. Got so it. this won't hurt. We're going to go right in okay. and do it. We kind of grab that with the edge. And just do it right in there on mm -hmm. each side. This shouldn't really hurt. Mm -mm. Not at all. And again, you're, you're being very good with no bleeding whatsoever. I must not have had aspirin or Advil for a while. And well, that helps, doesn't that, it? It absolutely does. If you take a lot of Advil, um, then you do tend to bleed more. Mm. Okay, do that again with your neck, like you just did. That makes that I neck, mean. makes that come out. And you can see that really well. So mm -hmm. that's going to flatten out and look very natural. Great. And that wasn't <laughs> no more bad. chicken neck. <laughs> no, and that wasn't bad. No, not you at all. You did very well. Boy, Thank you very simple. much. Thank you, Fred. My pleasure. Okay. This one. I came to you for, and this was interesting because I shared with you that I was always a tooth grinder. Mm. And from childhood, I, I wear one of those bite plates at night because I, I literally fight all my battles at night. <laughs> so, but I wake up in the morning and I'm, I'm very sore in my jaw muscle. And on top of that, it's created a very developed muscle in the jawline. And so herein lies another potential treatment for Botox. Absolutely, and we've had very good success with you. Yeah. The masseter is a fairly big muscle, muscle yeah. because it's responsible for the way that we chew foods and mm -hmm. the force that we apply. So with you, for instance, having a bigger masseter gave you a more square jaw in mm -hmm. the back, but it was bulging square as opposed to being nicely right. flared. Right. 
and smaller. And so we've accomplished that by injecting your masseter mm -hmm. muscle in two or three places to allow that muscle to be more relaxed and hopefully it's helped the way you don't grind at night. Well, it's helped tremendously in that I don't feel pain in my jaw when I wake up in the morning. So that has been fabulous That's in wonderful. and of itself but but what it's done is and it really shows when I smile because your forehead is a certain width and then when you smile and you have such a strong masseter mm -hmm. it makes your body it makes your lower jaw wider than your the width of your forehead and it was you know I, and I noticed that sort of evolving as I got older and older and I That's thought right. well listen right I mean I'm eating well and I'm lean I don't have fat cheeks what's going on here right well you made the yeah. right call and, yeah. and that's exactly right and we we can make a difference in the mm -hmm. in the way that that masseter relaxes and just looks softer. Yeah, which and is a good. Look. It's it's great. And any uh, side effects or or uh, cautionary words before doing something like this? No, again, it has to be just put barely into the muscle. Mm -hmm. Don't go deep. We don't want to hit any nerves. Right. We don't want to hit any blood vessels. We just want to hit uh, the uh -huh. the masseter muscle itself and, and let that go. So again, make sure you go to a board certified provider uh, that knows what they're doing mm -hmm. and usually it's a high high level of success with this. Yeah, it's been tremendous for me. I'm glad. Yeah, okay, really so glad. let's get started. All right. Ready see. to do the masseter muscle, which is right here. And when you bite down, you can really feel it stick out. I do. Absolutely. And that's where I've always had pain and sensitivity. So right now I'm actually going to ask you to do that again so I can feel where mm -hmm. that is. And, the, and then we're going to put the Botox right into that muscle. Two little injections, mm -hmm. spaced apart. And it doesn't hurt It doesn't hurt, hurt does it? You know, the area that I feel is the most sensitive is, is right here in the forehead. The frown lines and right there. It out is. Of any place. It is. Okay, turn your head just slightly now. Bite down again. Good. Hold it right there. Relax. There it is. Amazing. That's it. And just turn forward. Sometimes there are people who have a lot of wrinkles on their chin, by mm -hmm. the way, and we can actually do a few drops of Botox in there to get the chin to look smoother. Really? And it really works well, just as an aside. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. So this is going to help uh, flatten this flatten muscle, muscle, correct? And also it's going to take that edge off at nighttime, Absolutely. especially if I'm grinding a lot. I won't feel that pain in right. my jaw. It actually reduces the mm -hmm. strength of that muscle because it, parts of it are paralyzed, but not all of it. We want you still to be able to, to eat chew. and <laughs> yeah, that's smile a good thing. And, and do that sort of thing. Right. And how long will this last? Up to three months. Okay. So people will come in about every three months every to three get months. it tweaked right. and right. adjusted. And we're not over treating it because we certainly mm -hmm. don't want that muscle totally paralyzed. Right. And one more thing that might be good just to talk about yeah. is that all, I get a lot of patients in here that say, I want the Botox full strength. What does that and mean? And I think they're, they're confused okay. because the Botox comes in a vial that's totally empty of any fluid. Mm -hmm. So each doctor can decide how much they're going to dilute that Botox. I see. And so I have a standard dilution that's pretty much what everybody does. We put in a certain amount of cc's, like mm -hmm. two cc's, so that every cc has maybe 50 units. So it allows us to use fewer injections with, and it's more potent. I see. Some places like spas or other places may dilute their Botox more. by four or five cc's. Mm. So they have to use more injections. Got it. So you don't really know as a consumer how that provider is treating that Botox. Mm -hmm. So the more shots you get, that may mean that, that they're using a more dilute and still having to inject more often to get the same amount of units that I would have to do because I've got a more potent solution. So that's a question people should ask, obviously. Well, not, it doesn't really matter. It just matters. That's why some so many people are more interested. What's the total number of units that I've gotten? Mm -hmm. And that helps them get a handle on that. I see. And, and you also get fewer injection sites, too. You, right. The more potent the mixture, the less the number of injections that you need. Got it. Okay. Well, I hope that helps. Yes, it does. That clarifies a lot. All right. Comments Thank and you. questions, suggestions below. But again, I appreciate you and really breaking it down, taking the fear out of Botox and injectables and what it is and isn't and what it can do and what it cannot do. Absolutely. And, but it's, Thank it's you. amazing the different uses. And I think that's what we're showing our viewers here is Absolutely. that you, know, you may have a situation that could be remedied by something like right. this. And I think that that most people need to know that Botox is really an amazing 
um, medication because mm -hmm. it's found uses in uh, obstetrics, it's found uses in urology, mm -hmm. it's found uses in laryngology with people with vocal cord problems and stuff like that. And we have to remember that Botox was first developed in 1950 for people that had uncontrollable eye blinking. Really? Yes. That was so the it's point been of around origin? a long time. It's amazing. Yeah. Thank you for that. My pleasure. Great. Thanks, and I appreciate you having me. Oh, Thanks. thank you, Fred. You're the best. You're the best. Thank you very much for joining us today. Like I said, comments, questions, suggestions, and we'll see you next time. But I always ask and encourage you to be bold and be blessed. Bye.